Hello students, welcome to the class of Maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see multiple choice questions on Laplace transform. We will see the one example that is example number 13 and this question is important for the gate net set examination and as well as for the computer and unit set examinations. Example number 13 is for the equation x double dot of t plus 3x dot of t plus 2x of t equals to 5. The solution x of t approaches to the following values at t tending to infinity with all initial condition as 0. Four options are given to us. Now you just note down the given differential equation can be written as it is what d square x by it is dt square because we are having the double dot then plus 3 into it is dx by dt we are having a single dot then plus it is what 2 into x equals to it is 5. Now we take the Laplace transformation to both the side and we will have by the formula s square x bar minus it is s into x of 0 minus it is x dash of 0. This we have written the Laplace transformation for the first term then for the second term. 3 I take outside, I write down it is Laplace transform as s into it is x bar minus it is x of 0 plus it is 2 into the Laplace transformation of x is given by it is x bar equals to 5 is constant Laplace transformation of 1 it is given by 1 by s. Now it is given that the initial conditions are 0, all initial conditions are 0 so therefore this quantity will be 0, x of 0 is 0, x dash of 0 is 0 and this is also 0. So we are left with only x bar. Now collect the x bar terms and take out the common. So we will get s square plus it is 3s plus it is 2 into it is x bar equals to it is 5 by s. So from here I can write down the x bar as x bar equals to it is 5 upon s into s square plus 3s plus it is 2. So we got here the function of s. Now we have to find out the value of the given solution that is x of t when t will tend to it is what infinity. So t is tending to infinity so for this we will apply a final value theorem. So what is the final value theorem? It is limit x tending to infinity f of t equals to limit s tending to 0 s into f of s. Here we have to find out this LHS part for that we will find out this RHS part because function of s is already given to you so we just put the s here and then take the limit when s tending to 0. So therefore here s will get cancelled and if I put the s equals to 0 this is 0 this is 0 we are left with only it is what 5 by 2. So tell me which of the option is correct here. Yes option b is correct option. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you get something from it Please like and share the video with your friend and please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganesh Sangraha.